Guess yeah. what? You know, I was going to the local whorehouse the other day, just, you know, because I thought quarantine was over, but no, they had a sign up that said, we're closed, beat it. <laughs> Kyle, we all appreciate the red hat with white lettering on it, too. Thank you. You know, people I, get hungry in this quarantining time. I just want to say thank you, Grubhub, for delivering. For bad taste in their hats. <laughs> we, are, <laughs> in their hats. <laughs> we aren't supporting Grubhub. We're supporting Azip Pizza. Because if you want a good pizza, Bobby, who's watching tonight, will make a good pizza for you. Even we'll though Kyle pizza, hates her. Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Sadly, I won't be having your pizza because I don't think you deliver to Massachusetts. And you're a Bra or Tom Brady fan, so it really doesn't matter. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey. Folks, we got a game to go, so let's do this first. Uh, hey, Saturday up. night, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. As you can tell, it's the campaign edition, even though we've changed our background because uh, we believe in solidarity. And uh, I will not expound on what I think of the Buffalo Police Department, except that they're all a bunch of pussies uh, and they can go fuck themselves and they will know how to get a hold of me. Uh, folks, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff. Not Blake's. He's a Game of Thrones guy. Uh, Carol's supporting. Uh, there is no link because fuck it. Throw your money at Black Lives Matter. Um, you can uh, chat with us on uh, our Discord channel, tinyurl.com, mhobo, Inc. Discord. Uh, and most importantly, if you want a seat on this panel or on the talk show or any of the other games, go ahead and go via Twitter or Gmail, mhobo, Inc. Uh, with that being and said, we'll remind everyone there is always room on my lap. <laughs> we saw that game and we saw that you were wearing very short shorts. Nobody wants to see that again. It's like Tamlin or Kyle's not, ass. Not, 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 no, don't want to see that. To be uh, fair, no one seen Tamlin's ass. It ran away a long time ago. No one's seen it since. It was, it was pure crack. The, the, oh. night, the nightmare. The nightmare is going to continue. Uh, folks, let's introduce you to our group, and then we'll go ahead and do a light recap before delving into the game. First off, Chris. Chris, who are you? Who do you play? Uh, my name is Chris. I play Miniz and Eric Hawker Cleric. Um, been doing good the last couple of rounds. Hopefully that'll stay that way, but uh, we'll see. Not a snowball's chance in hell, man. Yeah. Next up is Kyle. Kyle, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Kyle, and I will be playing Dewey Dacomel, the Live Barbarian. And I'm not wearing pants tonight. It's just boxers. And I've got to say, it's really warm in the garage, and I might fall asleep because it is so comfortable, man, letting everything flow and <laughs> warm. so warm. Uh, do you have your and dice? Uh, Rue, yeah, do you have your dice? Uh, <laughs> Woo! But that's not as important because for those of you unaware, D&D Beyond has recently made public their dice feature. So if you use that, be sure to uh, check that out because that's what I'll be using this evening. I was oh, just, uh, I just noticed that they changed the, the whole setting now. You can click on it's where your mod modifiers are and it auto rolls. It's, I will be complaining about that live. <laughs> Carol, you're up. Who are you? Who do you play? Hi, everyone. I'm Carol. I'm a commission, a mini commission painter, a longtime player and sometimes GM. And I play Taryn, the Wood Elven Bard. And Ernest. this group is an intervention. <laughs> Ernest. <laughs> huh? Uh, huh? What? Where the hell did Kyle go? Oh, no. Uh, I, I just realized he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the producer will be happy. Ernest, who are you? Who are you playing? Oh, so my name's <laughs> Ernest. I'm playing Lucas, the uh, anti-druid. And my goal, as always, is to not die. Luckily, we cleared out Battle Keep last time, so I think we can escape. Correction, we did oh, not we'll make it out. out. We, we, we survived the, the encounter. Encounter? I thought we survived all of the encounter. We did. We, we, shall see. Are not, we are not. We remember, there, were, there was an email explicitly sent out to us. We have not escaped from Battle Keep yet. And that leads us to Blake. Blake, who are you? Who are you playing? 
I'm Blake. I play Perpetua. I shoot poison out of my pussy, and uh, we're in Battle Keep. And uh, I'm also go I'm also flapping in the breeze this evening. Awesome. Uh, it's very hot here in Indiana. Uh, we can all attest to that. Uh, I myself <laughs> mowed two different lawns, so I may just pass out from heat stroke. Or Buffalo PD might come in and try and hit me with their nightstick. Uh, but I'm not a 70 year old man, so they go fuck themselves. Anyway, uh, in a previous episode, these guys did manage to clear out Battle Keep. Uh, they fought the big bad guy, even though two of them decided to fly the nest, and Kyle's back. Uh, after oh. flying the nest, Maniz and Taryn both did make it successfully back. Decided after to? Decided to? <laughs> yeah, well, they wanted in on the treasure. Uh, the other uh, three had to share the load and go ahead and kill the big bad guy who wasn't really that tough showing you that challenge ratings are really not what they are cracked up to be. Uh, as we have alluded, these guys think they have seen it all, done it all here. We are about to find out if they are correct. Uh, folks, you have indeed traveled the width and breadth of the map as you know it. You have checked every area, uh, and you find yourselves... Oh, sure the cave -in, caved in area is still unexplored. Uh, no, that, that is where you are at now. You have... Oh, okay. Yeah. Question mark. Uh, so, <laughs> some of you are injured. Others of you are not so. Uh, what would you guys like to do as you sit in the uh, room off the trapped corridor? I want to go back and get that rug that was so expensive so that I can hock it for money. Yeah, that's right. In the, uh, what, the room there? The in, little the, in the master's oh, chamber where they gather for their feasts. Oh, right, right. The, that that was stealing knives? Oh, yes, that's right. Did we leave anything else, too, in the little secret room, or did we grab everything? I think that was pretty much it, but we may have left the arrows. No, I think I took those. Okay. They were took them. Did you, Wait, did you, did you, arrows, bolts. Yeah. Yeah, and then you you took the ring, and then someone else took scrolls. Maybe Dewey. Uh, I think I did. Yeah. Hey, Carol, did you take your tobacco? Did I take what? Your tobacco pouch. No, I did not take the tobacco pouch. No, that's still in, that's yeah. still in there too, and that's valuable. All right, we can probably stop back there then. So you want to continue to travel underground, or do you want to go up top? Uh, underground seems best to me, but what do you guys think? Mm, I, d I mean, hopefully we clear. The less things. noticeable we are, I have a feeling the better. <sighs> That's, I yeah, mean, I would that, have to agree. Well, I will stick to underground. Plus it may be faster that way than going all the way up and then coming all the way down. True. Uh, That's right. Do you think there's a way to get out via underground? It, the way we came in. Oh. That, that would essentially be the direction that we were backtracking to where we came in originally from. The but you want, <laughs> but you want to go back up to the the great you know the great hall there, which has the rug, which is up. No, no, top. no, no. The hall, the, the rug is also in the sorcerer's chamber. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was the sorcerer's chamber. All right, that's where I thought. And then you said the where you mentioned dining. I, I was just singing eagles. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right, then let's go no, back. Steely Dan, isn't it? No, that's 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 Hotel California. Steely Dan. Yeah. Steely Dan's always played in elevator music, a la R.I.P.D. So, uh, you guys travel underground. You go to the necessary areas to garner your well-earned loot, and you can do whatever you'd like. He's carrying the rug. I was told it was cumbersome. <clears throat> it is. Uh, nobody has like a bag of holding, or rather, a portable hole because it's. <laughs> Probably too. How long have you been playing over. this? <laughs> I mean, a thinking ahead. ahead. <laughs> what? We have. Do we have horse? I forget. We have horses or something. We rode in on. We did not bring no. those. You have a bear. Walked in. You you have a bear or uh, a giant yeah. elk. Yeah, yeah. I could hang true. hang the carpet on the elk's antlers. I, I was going to say, will you be <laughs> my beast of burden? Oh, oh, yeah. It's going to be one of those shows, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had the big, you know, exciting combat last time, so now it's time to just screw around. So, the, the question is, do you want to 
come up from above where you fought the big bad guy? Do you want to get back to ground level from where you initially went down? Or do you want to choose one of the far towers? Meh. I just want to leave. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me check the map and see exactly where it was that we came in. Can we just roll some dice to decide? I don't remember. Did we, did we come in towards the center? Towards the center where the phase spiders were at, in between the... So that would be the uh, closest in. to the exit. Correct. Yeah. We just go out the way we came in. Seems like that to be. And, and, for, and for the record, I also still have the, the <laughs> globe, globe of mysteriousness secreted on my person. Gotcha. Uh, so you, you guys are going to go to where you fought the uh, zombies up the stairs and out where the dead face spiders are, where the great big uh, scorched earth is, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. correct. Seems reasonable. Uh, I believe it's mid afternoon, is it not? Because you guys took a rest uh, before the big bad guy. Yeah, we, it was a, it was a oh, short we did. rest <clears throat> before that, but yeah. Uh, no, it was a long rest, wasn't it? No, so we everybody a short can... rest after the skeletons. Yes. So yeah, you're looking right around noon. <laughs> Who's first up? I would assume Dewey. Wow, thanks, guys. Wow, under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we beside him. Okay. Is, yeah, can we go double side by side? Sure. Okay. So who's next to uh, Dewey? I am. Dewey and Perpetual walk out. Uh, the sun glares down on you. It is a beautiful day. Am I temporarily sure. blinded? Nope. Uh, you are not blinded by the light. Uh, but it's a beautiful day. And as we all know, nothing bad ever happens on a beautiful day. Uh, let's see. Perpetua, Dewey, roll a d12. Whoever gets the highest roll, we'll see it first. <clears throat> Can I just give that to Perpetua? Because she's far more observant than I am. Uh, if you're walking out, it's going to be on one side or the other. Yeah, so my D&D &D Beyond, uh, my special dice, that gave me a seven. Okay. Eleven. Uh, Dewey, as you walk out and kind of put your hand up to blockade yourself from the very bright sun, you notice a pair of figures sitting on some old stones that have fallen from the main tower. They are what appear to be middle-aged to elderly women, and they are awaiting your arrival. Uh, Perpetua, you notice it moments after Dewey does. These two strange figures are dressed like something out of Sleeping Beauty. They, you mean the like fairy godmothers? <coughs> yep. Okay. <clears throat> oh lord! They have the high pointy hats with the veils, uh, and they are they're shorter, and they the stones that they have chosen on uh, are kind of hollowed out, so they are literally swinging their feet, waiting patiently. Can I get a religion check to see if they're just mourners? Sure. <clears throat> oh, 22. Not a clue. Okay. That might just be ceremonial garb. I don't know. It's true. Who's out next? I'm usually behind them. Go I ahead. say, I, we weren't expecting guests. How do you do? Who the fuck are you? Is that <laughs> is that how you phrase it? <laughs> uh, probably not who the fuck are you, but uh, who are you? Who the fuck uh, are you? Uh, the one on the left says, I am Wolperga, and this is my friend, Ursulina. Oh, that okay. sounds evil. Yeah, definitely. No, no, definitely. no. There was nothing oh, not evil. evil, guys. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fact. Uh, I would need a perception check to see if they were evil. <laughs> uh, Lucas, uh, give me a religion check. Religion? Okay. Uh, what is my religion check failed with a 22? Yep. I got a 17. Okay. Uh, who's out next? Manise or Taryn? I think both of us. We've been going side yeah. by side. Taryn, yeah, go ahead and give me a religion check. Islands in the stream. Wait, 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 if I can. That is what you are. 
basically I need a nat 20 because all I get is a plus three. That's not a nat 20, so I'm not gonna have a clue. That'd be an eight. Uh, yeah, that, that is not even remotely close. Can I not do a religion check? R read your chat. Oh, I didn't see chat. Uh, Kyle, ah. uh, Walperga and Ursulina kind of toss themselves off the stones, brush themselves off, and Ursulina says, we have been waiting for you. Never met you. Why are you waiting for, for us? us? Uh, they I are... got this with my five charisma. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> what do we talk? I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah, that's well, I, going, I know who they are. You're going to ready a shoulder. Stomach. Wait, who? I like all her knees. They're avatars of my goddess, Elindra. Let's kill them. Oh, they're waiting for you. No, my dear, we are waiting for the heroes who have rescued the orb. However, you are not the heroes we expected. Uh, they turn oh, well. on the knees and, and, and point out, uh, first, we are sorry for Fargugu. And where are Ketchup and Valana? Those fools. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I, I don't know them. I'm obviously that was out of character. Uh, does not know those people. Yeah, they, they look at Manise and they are puzzled, clearly puzzled, and they're like, "You were sent to go get your heroes back." I, I whisper, "Aren't we the heroes they're talking about?" <laughs> No, we're, we're the heroes. Them. You travel with that? You traveled them before. I know I'm the new person. I have no idea. <sighs> Ursulina gives a raised eyebrow approach at all the muttering going on, uh, while while Perga is slightly confused. Uh, so oh, you my. can perceive that you are not dealing with deities. Uh, but as Maniz has pointed out, you are dealing with avatars of one, so you can safely assume that they are going to have some power behind them. Uh, so Maniz, they look at you and they ask you to explain. I tear the head off of a puppy that I find and then go into a rage and kill them. <laughs> don't. You Please, would. Don't. You wouldn't like them, though, because they would be like... I'm just trying to remember, would that involve the email you sent me in regards to what happened when I was away from the group? Okay, yes, I that, don't that all the specifics. That and your time in Fulton. Yeah, they, 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 they know of ketchup. Fargugu was your betrothed. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. I, now, Manisa's I don't married. <laughs> <We're on. laughs> it's okay, fair. We all have secrets, I'll bet. Uh, Maniz, no. uh, while Perga asks you, why are you not in possession of the orb? I don't know. <laughs> because I'm he not. was a coward. Because we can't trust the clerical shit. <laughs> hmm. Where are Ketchup and Volana? Guys, where do we leave them? Ketchup is in like custody, isn't she? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got arrested. She's the one that hooked up with them in Fulton, right? Correct. And yeah. she's back. She's and back in Fulton for assassination. You were you not assigned to stop the xenophobic General Io? No. Was I? I don't know. I don't. Think I <laughs> While Perga and Ursulina kind of under your backstory, it's very helpful when the DM actually tries to progress the story. <laughs> <laughs> so they are, they are puzzled. Um, and I walk up to one and poke them to see if they're tangible. Uh, about yay far away from their chest, you hit 
I'm some going kind for of like a shin, like a, a knee. Since these are Menezes, God, I'm going for a knee to poke. Sanctuary. Yep. <laughs> he doesn't touch him. Uh, Kyle or <laughs> yeah. Dewey, uh, you are lifted six feet into the air. Um, they address Menezes again, and they're like, "Are you aware of?" the actions of these individuals, including this one who keeps trying to poke me. I serve a better God than you. You're now upside down. <laughs> <laughs> and shit is falling out of your pockets. <laughs> and, you, and you can tell it's Ursulina because she's doing this. Oh God, the um, library book. I'd be like, they've done nothing wrong. I've been with them. They've done nothing wrong. We've been accused of doing things that we didn't do don't ask me all the specifics i wasn't there for all of it but from what i know <laughs> they did nothing wrong except for that except one. maybe the one you've got upside down oh come on <laughs> his shirt falls down and you see his tramp stamp oh my god <laughs> i forgot about that <laughs> Ursulina takes a look at that. <laughs> no, no, she's upside down, so now it just says wow instead of mom. That's true. <laughs> um, oh, As they spin, it's wow, mom. So were you not the hero assigned to take out General Io? Who's General Io? Oh. Uh, okay. Wait, do I, I know like General Io since he's a no? No, none of us know except Manise. And, and you, anyone get a history check for from rumors? Did I hear about him from? Did I hear about him from the I'm crone? Sure. No, the only Wait. one that would know would be Terran or Manise. Uh, yes. Hey, can I make a check on that? Yes, you may. Which Give one? Me a second. I have all my stuff. history. Uh, right seventeen. You don't know General Io. You know Captain Io. Captain Io, ride at Disney World that starred Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Io and you have a history, Taryn. Oh, boy. I'll Ooh. bet we do. <laughs> so, Ursulina and Walpurga are extremely confused. Dewey, you have been set right side up and lowered back to the ground. Would it make sense if I kind of shrink back a little bit and... Their focus is on Manise. Good. They, Manise the has them confused. I know Again. what happened to Fargugu now. Okay. I have notes. <laughs> just reading through them. Um, from my memory, I'm just perusing through this entire paragraph you wrote me. She passed away from the, the plague that's going around. Correct. We so tried to stop that from happening. Nothing we did worked. Now, I don't recall hearing Io ever before, though. That was in-game uh, when you flew past uh, Magic Carp, landed in Fulton, made special friends with the other Aarakocra, and she was taken into custody along with a dwarf. Well, yes. Didn't she try to assassinate General Io? When that is was... the uh, alleged offense. No, you saw it, and then people thought it was Maniz's fault because he was on the balcony with her, and then Maniz flew away while being shot. Oh, the, yes, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. I remember that one. Yes, okay, yeah. Wait, I thought someone else tried to assassinate. Oh, no, it assassinated the lady. Catch, catch up. Catch up was detained for it because there was a crossbow bolt fired from their direction. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't us, though. Yeah. It, it, it was the grassy knoll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was the grassy knoll or the balcony. You no, know, no, it's, it's pronounced Degrassi. The first, the first <laughs> shot was from the crowd center uh, in front of the raised dais. A second shot came from the direction of a dwarf that Ketchup went to speak to. Both the dwarf and Ketchup were detained. The dwarf was thrown off the balcony and impaled on a oh, statue. I remember that. That was a, that was a pretty good episode. Yeah. That was a, I love that. Episode. It was a really good episode. None of us remember what happened. <laughs> <laughs> most of it. I, remember, I do remember most of it. It was, it was a great story. There was a long <laughs> soliloquy by the DM, which I do not like to do, but it moved the story. It so, was on, on the edge of my seat. Yeah. 
Do so we? I, I, I'll tell it. them what, what happened to Fargugu. I'll tell them that. Okay. Uh, and I can relay, obviously, now that I remember, uh, what happened, or at least my game, <laughs> as, as Frank refreshed my memory, um, what happened with uh, the assassination attempt that we were there, but none of us did anything. It was the grassy knoll, so to speak, a mystery person. You're Canadian. You don't know what the grassy knoll is all about. Well, Perga and Ursulina go ahead and confer silently, uh, almost telepathically, if you will, and are very confused at the issue. They I'm then turn their attention to Perpetua and go... notes of what Ursulina looks like. I am, I am taking it all in. Okay. Uh, they, they turn their attention to you and ask you why you are concealing a precious artifact there. Because we would not want it to be found and absconded with. I see. Why do we have to tell you these things? Maniz, you want to answer that? <laughs> these so, are avatars of a deity. Yeah, so? They, they'd be the police. I'm, I'm, I'm agnostic. <laughs> <laughs> Maniz, are we in trouble or something? Maybe you should well, ask, do we? <laughs> what did I do? Uh, you just hung upside down when you tried to poke him. Yeah, no, 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 okay, no, no. no. Sure. All right, now, real quick. Your... <laughs> ah, shit. Am I still here? You're st we can hear you. Your video keeps locking up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, if you can still hear me. We can. The yep. tower is still standing. Can I do the mathematics of what it would take to get the tower to fall on them? Sure. Okay. You're smart. Give me an intelligence check. Yeah. Ooh, fuck yeah. Uh, 19. Yeah. How are you going to break it? No, I'm just asking. What would it take? Do I could drop it? Oh, no. No, it's not in that bad of shape. What if a giant... Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you, know, you, know the, you know the trig required about it, but you don't necessarily know the chemical compounds for C4. That's true. Uh, the giant elk could try. Um, give me a wisdom check. Oh, wisdom, my best dad. Uh, well, that's not too bad. That was a 10. Uh, that's still good enough. Uh, you realize that if you drop the tower, it would fall on me. It'd fall on everybody. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> But you know what? If the avatars turn on us, we know what to do. Ursulina asks Lucas, what, where are you going to get a giant elk? What? What? Why, why is there... They're, reading, they're elk? reading your thoughts. They're reading your thoughts, guys. Think dirty thoughts. Think filthy, dirty, uh -oh. dirty thoughts. I, yeah, I start I, with I, math. Thinking dirty thoughts. Who is it? Uh, Walpurga seems to be the voice of the two. Uh, she asks, how do you intend on getting the other pieces of the staff? We charge in there and do our best. We just got a piece. I'll, I'll speak up. We just got a piece. That should prove to you something. If we can get that one. We can get the other two. Are you here to help us or not? Otherwise, we have, we have errands to run. Exactly. You're just you holding evil. We go. are potentially here to help you. We are confused. What can Doesn't we do? Doesn't take much. What yeah, can what, we do to help unconfusion? Seriously. Well, Maniz was supposed to meet his friends in Fulton. Yes. Which, which I did. Can claim. you make a six foot hole? What? Can you make a six foot hole? Are you asking them? Yeah. They make a six foot hole right underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> I go climb out and then I go get the body of the messenger. Messenger. Yeah, remember with the accident outside the of the I've been that. taking care of his body since we got. Oh, 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 yes. So I'm okay. looking to bury him. And Dewey had him on the pack animal. Gotcha. Uh, while yeah. Perga looks at Maniz and says, that kind of behavior. <laughs> We, you know, we got the things first. happen. Ur nope. Ursulina holds up her hand. 
are you guys going to get the other two pieces and yes. put evil in its place? Yes. Oh, shit, we already got the first piece. You we could are. be looters. Can you no. not read your mind? No. You can read you. Yeah. So why are you asking us questions? That's because one of us is probably thinking about stealing it. What, yeah, what, one of us is burying somebody. Another one is saying, oh, these guys are great. <laughs> to be fair, we are. <laughs> they are burying the body. I'm just putting the body in the hole. Gotcha. For the <clears throat> uh, Maniz, uh back to Walpurga. How can we help you before we go and report on what we have learned? Um, weaponry? Spells? Something? Something help to us. help us with our next, you know, guidance. to, to facilitate guidance. I bet they can give us guidance. guidance. Anything. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, guide. Do you know anything about the other two places? That yeah, these... we know where they're at. Yeah. And do you know about them? What, where? They they reaffirm Lucas's opinion, pointing out that you have the tomes required. You know okay. that you're going to Yaddle and to Fulton for the other two pieces. <clears throat> Yaddle's piece is somewhere through the crypts. Yep. So we can expect... And actually, they're going to give you... They will tell you, in order to find the crypts, find the Duke of Ellington. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Uh, he's D12 against me. Where are the crypts there? Where the town was that in? Yaddle. 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 Okay. Maniz, D12. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I did not hear you. 12. Maniz. Ursulina holds out her hand. And a ring appears. Thank you. Anything? Any descriptions? It will help you since you seem to be wounded a lot. It is a ring of regeneration. Oh! oh sweet. Really nice. It will Thank allow you. you to regain 2d12 hit points once per day. I'd rather have the perieptive wound closure personally, but okay. <laughs> Wow. Oh, it's not as good as it used to be. It used to just give you hit points. Homebrew. Um, so, which piece are you going after next? That is a good question. We have uh, not I was going to say, okay, there's the Yaddle piece. What else can they tell us about the other one? Uh, the other piece is the headpiece of the staff, and it is in the magistrate's office of Fulton. Oh God! Prominently as an artifact, that should be easy enough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Perpetua D twelve against me. Twelve. Uh, also a twelve. Uh, Eleven. What was the uh, dice roll for the ring again, Frank? You beat me on a D twelve. Oh, two D twelve. Two D twelve. Once a day. I, I, I had a four. You beat me. Okay. Uh, give me a perception roll then. Um, that's not too bad. 17. That's good enough. Uh, they respond with a look that tells you you are mistaken. Is Your comment uh, was right. prominently displayed as an artifact has oh, yeah. brought scorn is it is it is he aware of what he has no more questions from you <laughs> yeah, right. that, that, right. in, that, that information is fairly valuable uh, I, have, I have all of the gold while perga asks again which piece are you going after which piece are we going after? I suggest leaving the magistrate until the end because if we are seen infiltrating the magistrate, we may have more problems in Yavel. Especially Taryn. <laughs> that, that's, that's my suggestion. I, do with it what you will. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. Yaddle next. 
So that's that would be fine with me. Um, I, I actually have another question. So after we do assemble the staff and we have the you know box and everything, uh, do you know how we can identify this evil that we're supposed to trap? A good question. I have a feeling uh, it's self known. The possession of the box and all three combined pieces will point you in the direction of the evil that you seek. Thank you. You're welcome, Elk Boy. Any other questions? <laughs> I nope. think the only questions I haven't answered are Taryn or Dewey. Or me. Well, you you already asked one. I didn't know. I asked I only asked one. I, right. I, I, I Every, everybody gets one except my knees. I need a statement. Oh, I got a I thought I asked a question. Um oh, 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 they, yeah. Yeah, I asked I asked about after, it. Uh, maybe the question is it's hot here too, by the way. Um <laughs> Is that what your about, question? No. <laughs> no, I was thinking, uh, the, my question was going to be what sort of threats would we be facing? Like, do they know of, like, is there, like, a lich protecting it or something really powerful in Yaddle or something protected? I'm assuming the magistrate is the one protecting it in the magistrate's office. Your question is pursuant what, to Yaddle? What kind, all right, fine. We'll start, we'll start with Yaddle. I'll go with Yaddle. What kind of threats, if you know, are protecting the peace in Yaddle? Assuming that you make it through the catacombs of the dead, you will encounter oh. a creature that is very powerful at the end of a very long tunnel. But once you step into the light, all will be revealed. It's another crypt thing. Step into the light. Dewey, you got a question for him? Your video's stuck, but your audio is kind of peppery. Oh, you hear what I said or no? Mm -mm. Where's Natith and is she a nice lady? Natith is in her crystal library. Let me make sure that I'm not ready to give you the other information now. Because, Where yes. Nice or not? <laughs> Well, the tight's your goddess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> th this is a, this is an opposing deity. Uh, they will not comment on that. And the information I have pertaining to your background is not currently available. Uh, I.e., they will not reveal it. But you'll like how that gets woven in. Oh boy. Ursulina gets a look of frumpiness on her face and says, are we done? Let's just do this. Uh, while Perga says, make a circle, hold hands. All right. Everybody going to do that? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Quizzically, yeah. Bam. Uh, the next thing you see and smell is salt water, waves crashing, and high grass surrounding you. You appear to be on the high bluffs overlooking a port city. Uh, down below in the bay, there is a line of ships uh, bearing flags. I will take history checks. Uh, from everyone? From everyone. 18. I believe that's 17. Not 20. Whoa! Lucas and Dewey? Plus three. <laughs> wow! That blue! Play and chase the dice, huh? Oh, yes! It was a net 20, but it wasn't in the box, so... Everybody but Lucas realizes uh, these ships that are blockading the bay all fly the flag of Fulton. Yay. More towards the docks, a lot of other boats are present, shipping, merchant, and warships, along with some fishing vessels. Everybody roll a perception check. 18. Yeah, nine. 22. Giant. I missed, I missed yours, Blake. 22 as well. Manise? Frozen or asleep? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Manise, perception check. 
Maniz. Sorry, my uh, headphones cut out. That's fine. Uh, perception check. That'll be a 20. Everybody but Taryn recognizes there is a small, like, longboat or small fishing craft beached below. And there's also a sparse trail, maybe a game trail, that leads down the uh, grassy bluff down towards the city. You four also see that the front gate of the city is the home of a tent city, i.e. refugee camp. Or maybe a caravan? Not a military encampment? Uh, The ragtag concoction of tents leads you to uh, uh, those not of the military. Are the tents black and tan? Uh, They are a myriad of colors. Ah. I'm just sitting there staring at the boats with the Fulton flag on it. I failed that perception check. Can I have a little more information about the one? What's the, the, the single vessel beached? Uh, it is down uh, the steep incline of about 100 feet, uh, and it looks like a small fishing vessel. The sail is down. Uh, perhaps there is a sailor or a fisherman. But, say, but, but it's effectively outside of the blockade. It is not outside of the blockade. It is within the bay area. Oh, the okay. blockade is at the mouth of the bay. So apparently fishing vessels are still allowed to go out into the bay, not into the sea beyond. So that the city can can provide for itself. Gotcha. Correct. Anybody with nature checks will know that you are at the southern tip uh, and you can presume this is either Fulton or Yaddle. Well, uh, Taryn, give me a... On the fact that Yaddle's on... I, I, just, I was going to roll a nature check, on but the east. except for whatever. Uh, it's noon, remember? So the sun is straight up. So which check did you want? Uh, history or nature, either one. Oh, history, it's slightly better. That's a 23. Taryn knows that the layout of, well, Lucas, you've never been to either one. Taryn knows that this is not Fulton. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Manise would know it's not Fulton. <laughs> oh, that, that's true as well. Uh, so both of you would realize that no. Uh, yeah, uh, Lucas makes a good point, but since it's well, noon, the sun is straight up. So. Actually, we told the we told the avatars we wanted to go to Yaddle, so that's where they sent us. So it's actually not that big a leap. Maybe they were NPC dicks, as I'm told the DM sometimes throws out. They were sweet. <laughs> but they were avatars of a god. So yeah, they did. So yeah, it would appear as though you have two options. You can go down the steep incline and examine the boat, or you can take the grassy game trail uh, towards the uh, fortified walls of this city and perhaps uh, move through the rabble and gain entry to it. I want you to explore the boat, guys. I was going to say, I would suggest we go down there because there, there may be someone down there who can give us a little bit more information on what exactly we're going to be walking into. That's that's fair. That's not a Every, bad call. Everybody but the knees give me a DC 15 dexterity. I'm going to dimension door down there. Okay. And I can take one person with me if they want to come. You're I'll, go with, I I'll go with you. I've got a decent deck, though. Somebody. I assume Manise is going to fly down, so he doesn't have to roll. Uh, Perpetual will not have to roll, and whoever wants to go with her won't. Who do you want? Is to, good enough. Who do you want to take, Perpetua, before I make a roll? I'll go. I, if you want to come with me, so I'll just grab sure. you and do it. It's done. Be Billy, fine. Go ahead and give me a roll. I'm cool. I'll wait. So you're going to wait, wait at the top of the bluff? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Out. Okay, uh, the four of you find yourself a hundred feet down uh, on a kind of a shitty beach, uh, filled with a lot of rocks, filled with a lot of uh, shells. Not a big deal. So you know, clearly you are at a seaside community. Uh, the blockade is several hundred yards out, and it appears to be covering the mouth of the bay. Uh, the vessel itself is a small fishing vessel that has a net inside. Uh, it also has a body. What? I searched the body. 
Uh, the body appears to be a fat sailor. Uh, he has no visible signs of injury or cause of death. I will take a medicine check if you want to examine that. Yes, I do. Congratulations, now you got the plague. That's 19. You're oh, not... you probably have it already. I mean, I was traveling with Cola, who died from it, so we yeah. probably all have it. You notice that uh, the body is not yet bloated, so it is a recent death. Uh, and you notice that he has captured some fish in his vessel. There is no name on it, uh, so it is unidentifiable. The individual does not have any distinguishing features aside from an unusual tattoo of a mermaid kissing a frog. It, it doesn't match the tattoos that I've skinned off of all of the soldiers that we've killed. <laughs> It's not, nor, nor very, does it match Dewey's. It's oddly specific, though. It is. Yeah, it reminds me of Disney, like Ursula. I mean, Ursulina or whatever. No, 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 no. Um, Ursula, Ursula's Little Mermaid. This is Princess and the Frog. Yeah. There's been a few Disney Mermaid references frog. across so, a couple different movies. Does that tattoo mean something? And is there a check that goes along with uh, determining if that need, means something? Uh, I'd take insight. Insight? I believe. Do I have to uh, sort of? Uh, it means he wanted to fuck a frog. Nine. That would be Good. nine. Yeah, no. Dewey, D12 against me? Seven. Uh, three. Okay. You hear the sound of horses, Dewey, but you do not see them. Uh, yeah, so you cannot make heads or tails out of this unusual tattoo. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Uh, clearly, it was done by someone not a professional, but it clearly had meaning to this poor sap who's now dead. Uh, those looking at the body in the boat, give me an investigation check. Ugh. Yuck. Seven. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm not specifically investigating the body. Okay. Lucas, what was yours? 17. Yay! You find a little brown jug. I take the brown jug and I sniff the brown jug. It is okay. alcohol. I'm going to cast precipitation on it to clean it. Uh, <laughs> Lucas, go ahead and roll percentage for me, please. Oh, no. I tried it before you did that. 69. <laughs> Uh, it has almost 70%, almost 70% of the alcohol still retained in it with an old cork stopping it up. Uh, it. Take a swig. Give me constitution. Oh, that is a four. Oh, <laughs> like you drank four monsters in three hours. <laughs> Look, bleach drinker. <laughs> That's not going to wash. I'm blind. It's called, it's called MSS. It's, it's the, a miracle medical solution. This is from Kentucky. Uh, Perpetual, what are you investigating? Uh, specifically the rest of the ship. See if there's... If there's it, any... It's like a longboat, so it's not very big at all. He doesn't have any, anything else of, in the way of personal belongings on there. Nothing. No, he doesn't live here. It's clearly okay. a fishing vessel. Okay. Uh, do we see? Do you so, say so, so, please give him a Viking funeral? <laughs> uh, do we? You see three riders approaching. Me or them? You. Is there a decent place to hide? This is high grass, so if you remove yourself from the trail, uh, you can possibly. Uh, hide if your stealth is good enough. With your diminutive size. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, give me a stealth. Yeah. <laughs> That's a one. Oh, shit. Uh, you hear, ho there! Uh, give me a perception check from this distance. Color spray! Oh, wait, wrong character. <laughs> I was gonna say, since when? Uh, since level eight, um, fourteen. Uh, give me a religion check. Oh, these are the that is a twenty-one. Uh, these three mounted individuals all wear tabards, and you notice the mark of Sensua on these tabards. 
What do I know about Sensua? Cult of Sensua. Cult of Sensua is the uh, people trying to get a hold of these items so that they can uh, raise their deity, Sensua, to go ahead and let evil consume the world. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're trying to contain Dewey. Uh, Dewey, for right now, they're still on their horses. Give me a initiative. Are we considering ourselves at eight level at this point or not yet? Not yet. I mean, we oh. left the battle keep. When when are we eight level? We now? need to rest before we yep. level up. You need uh, the long rest. Okay. Uh, that's a 15. 21. They're going to talk to you before they do anything at all. Down on the shoreline, uh, uh, you guys are 100 feet down, so you are not going to see what's going on with Dewey. Hey, my cat, Frank. DM, I got a question for you. What? what I look at the I look at the I look at this dead guy. Okay, sorry. This is does, okay. it look, does it look anything like what Cola looked like when we dug up our body? D uh, twelve against me. Yeah, I'm wondering. Oh, that's right. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, well, you notice that Lucas is pouring the moonshine on the body and starting a fire. Oh, I, it's, it's an instant fire. I have a cantrip fire. fire. You notice that Lucas has doused the body in alcohol and set it on fire. Uh, I mean, my- black smoke rises. I'm pushing the boat now. Out to I have- I'm in dimension door I mean, back. We don't know what's going on up there. So honestly, I'm fine with this. And, yeah. uh, I, 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 I still don't wonder, want to be seen. I wonder if he died of the plague and they more or less dumped him onto a ship and sent him away, you know. So he was dead with his stuff on this little dinghy. So Lucas pushes the body out. Uh, Maniz, Taryn, Lucas, perception check. Oh, that's a lot better. Uh, that would be a 19. Uh, yeah, 19. 13. Lucas? Perception? Yep. That one. Uh, <laughs> I'm saluting and whistling taps. As, <laughs> as Lucas is pushing, saluting, and whistling, Taryn and Maniz, you notice one of the ships is breaking blockade and appears to be maneuvering over towards this region. It's going to take them several minutes, uh, maybe a quarter of an hour, to get the air in the sails and get over there. However... Uh, you have attracted the attention of the blockade. Uh, Perpetua, where do you dimension door? Right where you were before? Effectively, yes. And I, I, like I said, I grabbed Taryn by the back of the neck when I did that. Oh, okay. Uh, <coughs> Perpetua and Taryn, go ahead and give me uh, initiative rolls for right now. Certain. Ugh. That's only an eight. Oh, there's a button for that too. Handy. Uh, yep. That is a 14. Okay, uh, Dewey, before uh, uh, Perpetual and Terran Dimension Door back in, mm-hmm. they demand to know who you are and what you're doing. Um, Dewey and I'm... Uh, my boat crashed. <laughs> it appears that your boat is on fire. It sustained a lot of damage and we're not going to be able to repair it. You don't look like a sailor. And who is we aren't going to uh... (laughs) show off one of my huge muscles. You should show them your uh, tramp stamp tattoo to prove that you're a sailor. (laughs) Perpetual and Terran, you blink in and you notice three heavily armed riders are present interrogating Dewey. Hey guys, how is the boat burning? It was a, a, we, we were unable to save it. Yeah, it's such a tragedy. Uh, Manise, what are you doing? Um, and I'm taking a step back behind. Look me. over there. No, uh, <laughs> Manise, you're with me, aren't you? You're the last one with me. Yeah, I'm with Lucas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are, are you going to whistle taps as well? <laughs> no okay space balls yes when yes. the alien comes out in the diner <laughs> I was hoping one of, one of you would have bagpipes <laughs> hello my drag come gal 
I, I have I have a few too. Uh, Dewey, Perpetua, and Terra, and the riders get off their horses, yeah. uh, hands on their hilt, and approach. Uh, I'm glad you're off your high horses so we can have a real conversation. I, I am behind. behind and, you, I, so. and I jab Terra. Look at the taverns. <laughs> Look at the taverns. I, I will take religion from Perpetua and Terra. Religion, okay. I have no clue. That's friggin'. I haven't come across like I've but... run into the cult of Sensua before. I have 24 in religion. You uh, probably heard it from the um, seer. Okay. So you will recognize the sigil on their tabards and know that eh, these guys are not good guys. Yeah. I'm not saying Buffalo PD. Yeah, I am. I'm saying Buffalo PD. They have the tabards of Buffalo PD on them. <laughs> Yes. So it's a good but thing none of you are elderly. Five year old men. They can't push out. us off the cliff. That's right. Two rights do not make a wrong, though. No, but uh, three rights puts you right back to where you started. No, <laughs> that's no, correct. No, no, it's actually four rights because three, two lefts makes a two rights makes a left. Oh yeah, it's you know one, two, three. No, you're right. right. It's right. Three. No. Three. Three rights make a left. One, two, Four rights three. Get you back where you were. Yeah. So, uh, initiative. They're going to fight. Uh, they got 21. We're, 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 oh, we're doing... we already did initiative. <laughs> yeah, we already did initiative. Uh, oh, boy. We already did initiative. Confusion. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I've got it written down here. And you know what? Uh, Maniz and Lucas, go ahead and give me your initiative rolls, even though you aren't there. Not and, twenty. And we'll say because I, I don't I don't think you got to finish, uh, Carol. You, you're you're using me as a human shield. No, I step behind Dewey. Oh, usually, okay. Yeah, no. Well, I'd be behind both of you. I mean, usually you like to step up. So, well, Lucas, what's your initiative? We, we would have been. We wouldn't have been right next to him when he showed up. Is why I'm asking. Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Okay, uh, they're going to square off one to one, and they get three attacks. These guys oh. are kind of uh, hardcore regiment. Uh, I'll start with Taryn. Yes, Taryn's behind us. I'm the two of them. I was going to yeah. say, I, I, I'm at least body blocking for that. Uh, that's I'm, a, uh, 19, get you? Me? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess they could come around. Does a 15 get you? No. Okay. Uh, they're tall and they're using long swords. These guys are shock troops. Uh, so one of them hit. Uh, Dewey? 18, 18, and 14? Uh, all but the 14. Okay, so two and perpetual. 16, 15, and nine. I'm guessing none of those get you. Nope. Uh, 2d8 plus six. These guys are going to hurt you. Apparently not me. Uh, six plus six, 12, and Dewey, 24. Oh, God. Dewey, how bad are you? Um, I'm in the double digits. That's not helpful. Um, <laughs> you're uh, in the triple digits. You guys I mean can get your attacks <laughs> in. I got a 15, a 14, and an 8. So, Taryn, you're up first. Start dealing damage to these fuckers. Huh? They're all A in mail. AC 17. What are they wearing? Male. Okay, sweet. <coughs> Taryn? Uh, I'm sorry. Thinking. It's everyone what I want to do. Um... Because let's see, I'm not out of spell slots, but I don't have a ton. Well, maybe I'll do. I don't think of how many missiles that would be. What would see a third level magic missile? Third be level six. magic missile would be five. Five? Yeah. Did you get three for? Oh wait, yeah, Dur three for first. Yeah. I don't know how to add. It is five. Do we? You're on deck with a fourteen. I will do this. I will do this in the guy that's right in my face. Why am I missing a D4 here? So 4, 7, 11, and uh, 15, 18 points of damage. That'll work. Uh, Dewey, go ahead. I would like to let Lucas know that 
something is wrong by Are dropping one of these soldiers off. You're, you cut uh, out. He wants to throw one of the soldiers off the cliff to get to get Lucas's attention. <laughs> uh, okay, but these guys are going to be quite heavy. Yeah, they'll make it to the bottom of that cliff, all right. It, and maybe hit Lucas or Manise. <laughs> Manise, put the ring on. <laughs> oh, rings on. <laughs> uh, so Dewey, uh, you're going to have to grapple and throw, but you... He'll have to grapple and throw later. Uh, Perpetua, go ahead. Oh, shit. Just cut out. So... I assume yeah, well, heat metal. No, I'm not going to heat metal. Um, but... <coughs> I'm going to say that would I have had time to convert sorcery points popping up there? Because that would have been my first instinct on seeing that these, like while Dewey was pointing out who these people were. Uh, it's, a it's a bonus action, so it's basically... Now, I'll give you the bonus action this round, though. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll go ahead and convert my sorcery points first as a bonus action. Uh, and I'm going to step up to the one that was on me, and I need a con 16. Plus three. Uh, nat 20. Fuck. Okay. Damn it. As I, that was my bonus. I can't do anything else, so I'm done. Uh, uh, Dewey, back to you. No, no, wait. No, no, too late. Too late. I, I, I should have called it. I should have called it. Go ahead. Uh, Dewey, uh, go ahead and take your action. Bonus action, rage, uh, and then grapple, drag, let go. Unless you want me to literally throw. So I just need a contested... I'm sorry. He takes half of 45 necrotic. Oh, good. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. So a uh, contested athletics. Okay. Or uh, acrobatic, but I assume athletics. Uh, eight, 18 strength plus four. Uh, 17 plus four, 21. 22. Okay. Uh, so, so you got him, him. And drop. Uh, you got him. You're going to have to drag him, though, and he's in mail. Yeah. Um, so the contested grapple, you won that. You're going to have to drag him over. Um, so I don't know. See if you can hit him, I guess. Uh, 16 on the die. AC 17 for the male. So you're dragging him, but he's dragging his feet. Uh, so next round, we'll do the contested grapple again to see if he can break it. Uh, these guys are going to be big. These, these are not small people. Um, end of the round. Uh, Lucas and Manise, what are you guys doing? You see a ship headed this way. Uh, you aren't really sailors, so you know it's going to take a while. You just aren't sure. Uh, uh, Maniz, I think it's the Popo. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Do we not see the others being attacked? They just disappeared, man. I think they're uh, we're, we're on, like, a yeah, rocky yeah. You're at the bottom of the cliff. Yeah. You oh, okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. You, okay, you might be seeing somebody here next round. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what's your flight speed? Cause it's a hundred feet up. Uh, my flight speed is 50. Now is it halved if you're carrying Lucas? I don't that's know how, if that's I how we carry. homebrewed it when we were doing it. But for, yeah, yeah, we could do that. So then it'd be 25. It's going to take you four rounds to get back up there. Dragon lard ass. Uh, new round. Uh, we'll start with doing, let's see if I can break the grapple on you. Hey, 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 Frank, can you know, take two since he burned both actions moving? Uh, yeah, because dash or whatever would be, right? Since he if he chooses. Yeah. Uh, 18 well, plus 4, 22. 17 plus 10, 27. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to toss me this next round. Yeah. Uh, and since I am grappled, I cannot attack. Uh, ba Taryn. I'm in trouble. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's your AC? Because uh, my lowest is 17. Oh, no, you hit me. I'm probably going down. Okay. Uh, and uh, perpetual. Well, 
That triple digit hit points of pull. Uh, a two plus seven, nine, 12 plus seven, 19, 15 plus seven, 22. I am not down. No, no, no. That's to oh, hit. Oh, to hit. wait, wait, wait. All right. You, you said the last least was 17, so they all hit. Right. Yeah, so they all hit. I knew right. I should have fucking cast Bane. So, Blake. Uh, uh, I'll shield myself. The only one that would have. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'll eat the 22. I won't shield. I'm, I'm at 20. Sure? With so, you're going to eat one of them? I'll eat one of them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, you're you're going down there, sweetheart. Uh, well, if he eats one of them, we'll see. No, you well, are going. No, no, that, those are my three. attacks. Those are my attacks. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm like so confused of what's going on. Seven and two, nine. Add seven. Oh, Sixteen yeah. to uh, Perpetua. Sixteen times three to Terran. What? Thirty-two, forty-eight. Forty-eight damage to Terran. Oh, I'm down. Okay. Uh, end of my round. Uh, Terran, death save. Death save! That can be sick. Let me pull that up. Come on, damn it. Uh, on the board, friggin' thing. And it's cocked every friggin' time. Uh, no plus, it's just a flat check, right? Flat check, That's 10 fine. or better. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, no, a no. It's a what? It's a no. Okay. Uh, Dewey. Yeah. Are you throwing your guy over? Yep. Straight up D20. One yeah. through five. You're going to hit Maniz or Lucas. Seven. Maniz and Lucas, uh, a screaming body barely misses you headed down the embankment. I thought we were uh, playing. You are. Oh. But he's Somebody got thrown he's off the cliff. Yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, 20 hit points of damage. That guy. <laughs> uh, man, it's going to take him forever to climb back up. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Dewey, Terran's guy will come after you. Uh, sure. We're up to Perpetua. Since letting go of a guy is fairly easy, can I go and Stab the other guy at least once. Just for funsies. No, because you were dragging him. He's a heavy bastard. And, oh, and I'm a not... strong little gnome, though. I'd, I'd say I look like a sailor have, gnome. You would have half your movement left, and that would probably be about it. Yeah. Okay. So, Which but, one be, so. Go ahead, uh, Perpetual. Uh, so there's still just the one by me, or can I, or are both of them by me, the one that he was hitting Terran, because she was... Uh, yeah, they'd both be close. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and twin a shocking grasp on them. Okay. Ooh. 17 uh, to hit them. Yeah, but I get advantage because they're wearing mail. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be... Let me pull that up here. Where the, there it is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, first one will hit. I'm just rolling to see if I get a... No, second one would miss. So Okay, they both... Uh, it's 22. To, to both of them. Uh, to, to, to I, missed, I missed what you said. It's a 22 to hit, so I hit both of them. Oh, okay. I thought that was damage. They're each going to take 10 lightning damage, and they cannot make reactions, okay. which means that I'm able to move away from them without incurring any, any type of opportunity attack. Okay. So, and, and I'm going to choose to do that, and I'm going to effectively move by Dewey. Uh, well, they're headed towards... One of them's already headed towards Dewey. I know. I'm going to... We're, we're, we're a united front. Okay, that's fair. Um, and I mean, they aren't they aren't overly far away. They'll use their movement to get there. That's, uh, that's fine, but I'm, tr I'm just trying to maneuver... That's fine. Yeah. Uh, top of the order, Maniz and Lucas, you want to do anything about bodies flying out of the sky? Um, not yet. Okay. Uh, Lucas, perception check, because I assume Maniz is guiding his wings. Uh, that was a 17. Uh, that guy ain't dead on the deck. 
Well, that's fine. Let's keep on heading towards uh, our friends because that's where the body came from. He set fire to yep. a living person and he's now burning alive. He was just and, dead drunk. And he's the, the armored guy is pissed. Uh, top of the order, uh, we'll move towards you two. Uh, good thing I got a lot of dice. Uh, do we? I'm sorry, say that again. How quickly is he moving? I still couldn't hear you. How fast is he moving? Uh, they can move 25. I, I know, but is he charging or is he approaching cautiously? Uh, they might be charging because they might be pushing Kyle off the bluff. Hey, hey, Dewey. I'm sorry. Oh, I gotta sorry. keep changing my name every time I rejoin. Okay. Uh, 21 and two nines. And I'm not uh, at advantage, right? Uh, not yet, no. Okay, yeah, you aren't because you aren't reckless yet. So twenty-two and two nines. Why the hell you would go like that against me, Jesus? Okay. Shut up, your dad, uh, right. Perpetua. Uh, Seventeen, fourteen, and twenty-six. Uh, the twenty-six will hit, but I, I I'm. Uh, I, I, you should, in the future, tell me that you're attacking me before you roll because there's a feature that I, that I can only use when I know that I'm attacked, when I'm being attacked. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I assumed that that was, I, I'm not going to throw two on one PC. So, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Are you going to, are you going to eat it or shield it? Well, I wanted, I wanted to unsettling visage it. So, what do I need to do? Disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, that's a 19, so that will miss. plus pl uh, 19 oh, oh, plus oh, okay. seven. Yeah. So that was an even better roll. So each one of you got hit once. Yeah, no, I'll leave it. That's fine. Uh, that's a shitty roll. Uh, yeah, only 12 damage this time. Now, Manise and Manise will be cresting the edge. He will not be in combat this round. Uh, he will be in combat next round. Uh, I will give him, if you dump Lucas, you can do a bonus action heal on Terran at the end of the round. But first, we'll start with Dewey. Dewey, you're up first. Did Terran need to make a death save before? Oh, that's true, because uh, she had the 15. Terran, give me your death save. Uh, all right. I, can, I said, even if I fail this one, I'll still not be dead. Unless it's a uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> We believe in you. Because if you watched last Sunday or two Sundays ago, that didn't turn out well for the Margu campaign. I just, I just, I can't even right now. That is not a one, but that's a failure. Okay, so two down. Uh, Dewey, we'll go with you. Thank well, you for. Since they attempted to shove me off the cliff, I'd no, like they, to. They, they were actually slashing at you. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they didn't try and grapple you. Cool. I would still like to lose my low center of gravity and flip them up, over, and out. I will use Please. my action to help. Oh, I don't. I'm raging, so it automatically kind of gives oh, me. Yeah, yeah, he automatically gets advantage. Uh, I know, but if it, if it makes a difference in how you're going to rule it. Let's, uh, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to rule it. First, you got to hit him. So, 17. Uh, 17 on the die. Okay, so uh, you definitely lose your low center or use your low center of gravity. I'm going to say I'm going to try and grapple you as I see you bend down. Sure. And if I fail, yeah, I'll go over the side. So let's uh, do the roll off and we'll do dexterity this time. Uh, since I, yeah, so. Okay. Uh, that's a seven on the die. I got a 10 on the die plus nine, 19. I'm only going to get seven. So 14. So over I go. That is the other one. Oh, he takes 40. Oh, damn. Oh, hold on. I, I'm sorry. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Was that, uh, that was Taryn's guy, right? Yeah, I assume. Yeah. Okay, 68. He is also alive. Uh, Perpetua. 
Okay, the wisdom 16. Oh, 17 is it minus though? It's plus one, so 18. Uh, we'll twin that one more time. Nat 20. Fuck. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. Do I take half? No, that was a polymorph. Oh, okay. Kyle, your neighbors? Motorcycle, yeah. Uh, Manise, uh, you see your associates entrenched in combat just as another body over the side. Lucas, you notice, you know what? I'm going to see if I can hit the, hit the other guy. <laughs> Thank you for that sound effect. Four, so no, I miss. Uh, so Lucas, you know that there are two armored bodies on the sand below. Manise, I'll give you a bonus action if you want to do some kind of healing magic because you notice Taryn face down, humping the ground, waiting to die. Um, so we're, I'm, I'm still holding on to Lucas, right? As we're, you, you've come up and over the edge, so you can surmise, unless you roll a one for a wisdom check, that you can drop Lucas and he'll be fine. So we had a plan, but me and Lucas have a plan. Oh, I can hardly wait. Um, I'm gonna fly over said enemies and drop Lucas. Like, and as I drop, I'm using my bonus action to turn into a giant elf, which is a huge creature. That's fine. But remember, you are not going to get your attack this round. So oh, you are fine. a giant elk up against the one. Uh, well, gravity. Gravity against the gravity one. Gravity is the attack. Top of the order, nat 20, Maniz goes first. Good. To this all drop. Karen. I'll drop Lucas and then already I did will... that last round. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I will cast your wounds. Hold on for it. No, that's not... oh, Karen, Karen, go ahead and roll a straight up D20. Let's see if you would have died. You're right. I don't want Well, even if she dies, I can bring her back from that. That's fine. Well, you're gonna heal her before she dies. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. Because we no, did have been for diamond for you, didn't we? No, I would not have. Okay. Your wounds. No. This is way too fucking close. So, uh, so she that. gets she gets 19 health. Yay! Uh, Lucas is my reaction. I'm going to try and dodge your fat ass giant elk body. Yes. And a two says you're going to hit me. <laughs> do I do a hoop attack or what? I'm going to say you're going to land on me. Let's do... I, I, I'd say give him fall damage, but the but the soldier takes full, he takes half. Yeah, I like that. Then D6. Yeah, just D6. I was going to give you D12, but go ahead and D6 it. One. I take one hit point and you take none. <laughs> 10 D6. It's every 10 feet, it's a 100 foot cliff. Is a D six worth no, of damage? No, we're not dropping me a hundred feet. We're no, dropping no, 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 yeah, they are no. dropping. They're dropping him on the one guy up top. Oh, unless you want to yeah. drop him over the edge, I'm happy with that. Uh, that's what I oh. thought was going to happen. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was. Thinking. Oh. I, I, I'm thinking no. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I was going to do next round. Oh, uh, so uh, <laughs> belly flop over the cliff. My turn, so I can go after Lucas, Dewey, or. Perpetua, uh, and I will be able to attack uh, the same person if I roll that. So first attack is a five, that's Perpetua. Then a two, that's Lucas. And then a three, which is Dewey. So each one of you, I'm going to try and hit. Wait, Lucas? So yes? was he not prone or anything when I fell on him? With one hit point of damage? No. <laughs> oh, so just but, but with that, but with that no. dodge? With that score, I would say that he was at least unfooted. No. Nine. Uh, that's not going to hit you, Lucas. Great by him. Uh, 16. Dewey? No, just miss. Perpetua, 18 plus 7. So 25. Do you have a shield left? Uh, well, I shield wouldn't even have. Shield would still only bring me to 25. Okay. So... Uh, 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 five and four, nine plus six, 15. Uh, that brings us to 
16, Lucas is the first one up. Cool. Uh, so it's just the one dude, right? Just the one dude. All right. You, don't sh you do not know what the other two are doing down below. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to hit them with my antlers, with my ram. Uh, that was a 22 to hit. Okay. All right. And that is... It was supposed to be 2d6 plus 7 bludgeoning. Unfortunately, I rolled two ones on that. So it was only nine. <laughs> you suck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next up is the 15. That's Taryn. Oh, boy. All right. Well, there's only one left up here, and there's a line of people between me and him. And you're kind of woozy, but you're healed. No, I'm kind of pissed. How bad does he look, by the way? Not bad. Bad. They've done 42 uh, hit points. What's that? They've done 42 hit points, and he didn't no, look too bad. What, it's because I don't know how much they are full. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Either, so, I can either go just, invisible. Just for reference, the one that's fallen has taken like 100 and something. Mm, uh, yeah. No. No? Oh. No. 10 D6. 68. 68. Oh, I, th I, thought, I thought I hit him with a shocking grasp of two, but yeah. You did. Well, but the roll, the roll I did was two uh, times ten is twenty. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cast. Oh, I guess make a charisma save. I'm gonna cast Bane on him. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen on the die plus oh, two. Uh, seventeen. No, yeah. yeah feel pain, Perpetua. I feel your pain. Uh, uh, bonus action. I want. Let's see. Who do I want to? Who do I want to help here? Because I want to help someone. Um, geez, I wish I could wish I could give you like a boost to your friggin' saves, but that's not saves, but to your. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I could do something that so he wasn't saving so consistently, but I will give. That would be gain, wouldn't it? What's that? It would have been. Well, yeah, but see, that didn't work. No, I wish I could inspire, but put it on you. Um, I want to inspire somebody. Who do I want to inspire? Amy. I'm going to inspire Lucas. Yeah, the giant oak. Inspiration. Like, get this guy so he doesn't freaking drop me again. And I'm going to pull my crossbow, I guess. And stay behind all these people and out of reach because I am not a melee fighter. Let's get that straight. <laughs> Okay, uh, Dewey, you're up. <coughs> he has seen you toss his friends over, so he is aware of what Ready you're probably going to do. Yep. <laughs> uh, 18 plus 4 is 22. 18 on the die, plus 10. Okay. Uh, and then I will grapple, so we'll do the decks. Uh, 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 he, well, no, that was last round. That's a it? 20. Nat. Because he used his reaction to dodge. Right, but we've established that this is his attack and how we're going to go ahead and catch him and throw him. Well, no, that's not his attack because he... It's not he, his attack. It's, that, that's how we assumed, or that's how we determined how Dewey would be able to pick him up and throw him over. Right, you said he was using his reaction to do that. Uh, words. Yeah, not not actions. So, uh, did you nat 20 me, Dewey? I did not. I did get a 20, though. So, you do have him grappled. Mm -hmm. So I'll go over. No! I'll go over with him? I'll go over with him. Yeah. No. Are you sure? Oh, uh, you're going to suffer half from bludgeoning, right? Yes. You do know there's two alive down there, right? Oh, don't yep. do it. Taryn, the bestest friend in this entire group, got knocked down by this motherfucker. I'm going to make sure she's okay. No! You're going to Sherlock Holmes over the edge with him. Well, luckily, I have an air thingy pump, so I'll be able to breathe. Okay, over you guys go. I, I've been rolling one. This is awesome. One times ten. Each of you take ten damage. Uh, and let's see if you hit one of them. 
One to five. Wait, is that the third one you're taking down? Yeah. The so old, three, like, it's going to be three to one down there. Uh, 12 and Nat 20. So you don't hit either one of the others. <laughs> yeah. uh, you and he take 10. Okay. Uh, new round. I haven't gone yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, and seeing this, I want to try and communicate to Manise that I would like to be escorted down as well, like maybe full movement. And then I would also belly flop while I'm quaffing healing potions on the way. <laughs> belly flop as in let go of them or? Yes. At about, at about halfway is the intention okay. that I'm trying so to So one round down to 50. Yeah. And then, okay. So this round, well, Manise is already gone though. So, but so he's I'm got the mat 20. I'm taking my, I'm, I'm, I'm healing myself and communicating that so that when he, it's his turn, Gotcha. New round, Nat 20. Manise, you have been uh, requested to be an elevator service to Perpetua. On my way. Tell your best friend Dewey, jump off a cliff. No, exactly. Good for him. <laughs> my best is funny, Dewey. <laughs> you, you had all. Finally! <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> I get my betrothed. Okay. Uh, Dewey, um, okay. Uh, do you want your full attacks? Let's go. Okay. Uh, if you're going to do your full attacks, your associate, uh, are you going to maintain grapple on him or let him go? Takes, what, nine minutes if I want to choke him out slash possibly kill him? No, nine minutes is way too long. You can't survive it's without him. seconds or something. I, I think it's... I was uh, making a terrible joke, but yeah, all right. Yes, so I, I caught the joke. Oh, uh, you are... <laughs> you could do the worst. You're... Uh, Oh my god! You, I, I, I gotta say, you're you're in a lot of trouble. Here. Yeah, well, I was I was completely. Oh my god! Um, like, oh, oh, even I think that's a poor taste. That's yeah. Here, here's, <laughs> how, here's how we'll do it. Dewey, whatever you want to do, the guy you grabbed is going to do the same thing. So if you want your full attacks, he's going to get his full attacks. The other two down there are going to get their full attacks. You're in for an ass beat, <laughs> is what no, I'm trying to say. We have to see if I land on anyone first, because that wouldn't that happen during Manise's turn? Nope, because you're going to do it halfway down, and it's okay, going to so take him one full round to get halfway okay, so, down. So he's grabbing me, using his movement, and releases me next round. Gotcha. Correct. So uh, I will, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. I'm going to pull out the hammer and uh, hammer chisel. And just keep so going crazy. So you're going to use your full attacks. Full attacks. Okay, so I'm first, and this is where the pain starts. Sure. Because there's nine attacks. Yeah. God. Uh, nat 20. Yeah. Uh, 13 plus 7, 20. 2 plus yeah. 7 is 9. Miss. Second one is uh, 16 plus 7, 23. 8. Hit plus seven 15 miss and four plus seven is 11 miss and the final one is two plus seven is nine 13 yes. plus seven is 20 Hit. and 13 plus seven is 20 Hit. so five attacks and you are having the damage since you're raging correct correct you are not uh reckless though correct not yet no Okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, so 2d8 plus 6 times 5. So, Frank, why did I 2? Have I gotten a turn yet since my last attack? Or No, but there's nobody up there. I know, but I want to dash down to, to help out eventually. Okay, that, that's fair. Uh, so my you'll need, 60, so I'll be able to move 120 feet, which should be all the way to the bottom in one turn. Right, you'll need four dex checks to make sure you don't go sliding. Uh, eight plus, oh man, uh, max 16, uh, plus six is 24 times three is 72 times four, four normal. And then another, so times six, I think is what it ends up being minus six. So, so wait, what, tell me the damage. It's, uh, 16 plus six is 24. How many hit? Just six. Call it six. I didn't. I didn't hit you six times though. You got a nat twenty. Oh, that's right. 
I, I forget. Yeah, we'll call it six. Okay, 16 so, or so 24 so times six. Oh, God. Divided by two. No, no, no. 24 plus 24 is 48 plus another 24 is 72 divided by two is 36. Times six divided by two, so it'd be 72 in total. No, 72 divided by two is 36. The, the damage is 24. Oh, 24, okay, so yeah, tw so it's 72 times two divided by two, so 72 total. Yeah, so 72. So 72. How are, you, bad? are you still up? 69, by the way, because minus six, because one of those doesn't go through. One of the plus six doesn't go through. I'm oh, still standing. Oh, okay, okay that, that's the important part. So Lucas, uh, did you roll your four checks? Well, no, wait. Six, and, six, no, but let me do that. It would, it would be 72 minus... D&D &D is mostly, mostly math, folks. It would be 72 minus six would be 60... Eight, 64. Six. No, no, 60, 66. By yeah. the way, uh, one of those soldiers is baned. No, he's no. not. Been no, going he's out of bane. 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 the bane. I wish. Yeah. yeah, she didn't. She did not get him bane. Oh, okay. I just rolled my deck. Yeah, just just roll four times with decks. I did. So a seventeen, a twenty, a fourteen, and a fourteen. All of them pass. Nice. So, so you'll be on deck next round. Uh, Dewey, let's go with you. Uh, reckless. Okay. Natural 20. Okay. Now, are you attacking the same person or your original, Terran's original, or Perpetua's original? Because that, that is kind of important. Can you differentiate at the moment? Uh, he should be able to because he threw all he threw two of them off and tackled one of them off. So I would go ahead and roll a d20 as long as it's not a one. Your intelligence would uh, feel through. I, I'm assuming you'll know which ones are which. Yeah. Okay. But we'll yeah, go with they, the one who has the blackened edges around the armor. Okay. Uh, so. And who burnt who burnt them? That was Blake, right? Yeah, I didn't burn anyone. I don't have uh, shocking grasp. You oh, got oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, it would be shocking. Yeah. You oh, got I thought Terrans, you did metal. You got Terrans and Dewey's. Yeah, two yeah. of them. Terrans and Dewey's. No, mine and Terrans. Mine and Terrans are the ones with shocking grasp. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because Dewey threw his off first. Okay, yeah. got it. Is okay. Dewey still here? Yeah, I heard him. Yeah. Oh, did I disappear? Yeah. Your yeah your camera My camera. character sheet is on the tablet here that uh, I am now using. So you get me full 100% without me disappearing. So you can hear my terrible jokes. So um, <laughs> who do you want to attack? Because they all have different damage right now. Um, didn't one of them have heat metal cast on them? No, he <laughs> cast shocking grasp. It doesn't heat oh. metal. You're thinking Esmeralda. He he thought I was going to because I because he told me they were in mail. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, when he asked that, I I just assumed that he was going to heat metal on. Um, we so will go two of them have singes, and that would be Terrans and Perpetuals. I will be going after Terrans. She and is the most. Uh, hers hers is the most wounded. Yeah, and magic oh. missile too at the beginning. Okay. Um. So. To start off with, uh, guys, it's so hard to know. Six, and then that. Uh, plus three, I think, at this moment. Uh, 21 damage total on the first one. Hit. Yeah. Dead or alive? Oh, alive. Okay. The second one is going to be uh, 13 damage. Same person? Same person. Got it. And the last attack uh, is going to be six damage. Still up. Okay. Uh, 
Maniz, you've uh, dashed, picked up a Perpetua, flown down, uh, top of the order. I assume you're going to release? Yeah. If, if we want to say as a bonus action, if you have a healing word, I'd take it and that'll bring me back to full. Because he's going to need it because he's on his way down. I don't have as a bonus. I don't have any healing, healing words a bonus. I don't yeah. have it. Okay. No, if you don't have it, that's, <laughs> no, if you don't have it, that's, that's I, I took I took spare the dying. <laughs> so Perpetua, do you say Ruth? Oh yeah, oh yeah, because I'm only one short of full. Okay, roll a D6 for me, and that'll tell me who you're gonna hit. Uh, that's gonna be a three. Okay, you are hitting this one. Uh, you are at 50 feet, roll D6 times five or just five D6. Times, times, oh yeah, times five. So uh, 15. Okay. Uh, you land. Uh, and is I'm, that my movement? Uh, that's everything because you every are a missile. Uh, on this. Uh, well, hang on. While, while I'm falling though, during my fall, I want to turn it just for the sake of confusion. I want to turn into Dewey. Uh, that's fine. Um, what's your What's your dexterity? My dex is eighteen. So let's see if I hit. If I get eighteen or better, I will have been knocked around. I'm only get two attacks. If I don't make eighteen or better, I'm not going to get any attacks. So I get plus three to my roll. And that's a 10, so 13. So I will not be able to attack Dewey on that guy. I've effectively incapacitated one. Uh, for, for taking away his attacks, yeah. yeah. However, you will also need to make a roll to okay. see if you are incapacitated because you are not Rocket J Squirrel. Oh, no, that's right, because this is this is Manisa's turn, not mine. Right. Okay, so yeah, then I, 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 I guess I would have done that shape change before he at the end of my last turn then no because you weren't there yet you weren't at 50 yet no i know but i before before i yeah but i i, I want to be dropped as as dewey that's fine yeah yeah they they don't give a shit who they're fighting <laughs> I, know, I, I know but i'm hoping mirror image or some shit like that like i don't know yeah, uh, I'm thinking if somebody hits me from above, I'm going to beat them. So, uh, Dewey, uh, there's only two that are effectively going to attack you. Have I made it? Let's, say, it? let's just say that I uh, Yes, but I beat you guys on initiative because you got a 16 and I got a 21, but oh, okay, cool. at the nat 20. Uh, cool. Dewey, I got a 6, which is 13, a 12. At advantage? Oh, no. Does a 19 get you? Yes. Okay, so then the 22 will get you. This will be the advantage roll on the miss. 13 plus 7 is dirty 20. So okay. all, all three hit. Mm -hmm. uh, then the other one is a 19, so that'll be plus uh, a 10, 17. A 10, 17, uh, right does on the one. Does a 17 hit you? Yes. Okay, and the seven plus seven is a 14, so I'll have to re-roll that. And that's lower, so one miss. So five of them get you. Okay. Three and one, four plus six is 10. Uh, times four is 40, divided by two is 20 damage. Didn't you have five hits? I thought you said there were more than oh. four hits. I, I did have five hits. I'm sorry. So uh, 10, 25. 5, 50, 25. And then my 25 is final answer. All right. Dewey falls. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so. Although it took every single one of those attacks to do it. <laughs> so Lucas is up with a 16 anyway. Coo, coo, coo. Um. Yeah, is there, so there's all three down here attacking, right? Now, all three are attacking, but one of them is down with Dewey uh, on top no, no, of no, it, no. so you can attack that. Because because of the logistics of that, I wouldn't have been able to do it on Dewey's turn, or on, on Manisa's turn, and that would just be fucked up, so I, I, never mind, don't worry about that, I, it's me. 
Okay. So Lucas, one of them is been knocked to the ground. So if you want to attack that one, you can do so at advantage. No, no, no. I want to attack the standing one. I'm okay. The uh, there's one hovering over the body of Dewey or the other one. Uh, the other one I'm going to charge. Okay. And so that is a... 17 is your magic number. Okay, so that was a 22, so I hit it. Um, which means that it needs to make a DC 14 deck save or be knocked prone. 11 plus 2, just shy. Okay, so it's knocked prone, and that means I do my hoof attack, and it also gets an extra 2d6 since I use my charge. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, fuck, this is going to be a lot of damage, hopefully. I hope so. Because my hooves can only attack a prone target, but it does 48 plus 7 bludgeoning, so. Yeah, you. And I get extra 2d6. You so. guys are still in a lot of trouble. 20. I think Frank was mad because we took down his big B, BBEG so easily. So uh, that this is repent. Uh, honestly, uh, taking the boat was what I thought you would do. And I was going to say, I'm like, no, no, hon honestly, what happened is we ended up going up against the people that were too strong for us, like usual. And now we're. <laughs> it's we're fine. Figure out if we're going to take him from now. Honestly, I was thinking to take the boat into the city. I, I that's honestly yeah, right? that, that's yeah, what I like, thought okay. you do. <laughs> we go into this caravan city and find Duke Ellington and the black and yeah, and then you stayed up top and didn't come down with the boat. And I sure as shit didn't think, oh, I'll go over with them. Uh, there's three of them and they're attacking three times. <laughs> that's a really bad idea. <laughs> okay, so how much damage, Lucas? 40. And he's nice. Where's nice. a party of bad ideas, folks? Uh, Taryn. 15. Everybody's left you up top. That's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, no, what I want to do is uh, oh, 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 look at that guy who just <laughs> dropped away, and I'm going to unload my fourth level magic missile. I would. I was thinking of going invisible, but fuck it. Right range is okay, and right? Has a range oh, of yeah, 120. Okay. Oh, that is, yeah. This is like as if she really was angry because that's. Now, what, who are you going after? The one that stand, the one that just dropped and is standing above Dewey. Got it. So that is 16. Done. 19, 20, no, no, oh, 21 plus but five. You, you could have broken it up, but if you were calling it all out. Yeah, no, I no, no. These guys are tough. So she no, she's friggin' pissed, and she just she unloaded on that one guy. So Taryn's yeah. original one is dead. Okay, so question: How get down this hill? Uh, it's going to take for you uh, five dex rolls. I, I move or ninety uh, six damage. Uh, I do move thirty five for starters. I don't uh, move three. Start. It'll take you. I'll give you three rolls. And actually, all I really want to do is get down one move because I can then shoot things with my crossbow. Uh, my you you cannot hard. just move partially down the cliff. You want oh, to look like an outcropping. No. Right. Yeah, no. <laughs> all uh, right, think, will, think cliffs of Dover. I will. You know what? I'm going to make three. I will make three checks to come down. Okay. And, and that'll, that'll be three rounds. Okay. Oh, oh, Jesus! Well, or, I, or maybe sooner. <laughs> I would be okay because it was like ten points of damage, right? Um, it's a dex check, right? No, 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 yes. no. You, you're if you fail your first dex check, it's you don't need to roll anymore. It, it's six d ten because you've only moved a third down the cliff. So which one failed? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, 66. Well, the same time. And, and Maniz, I didn't let you attack. So if you have an aerial weapon, you will be allowed to attack this or, one. Or, I most certainly have one. Okay. Or okay. since you saw Dewey fall, you may wish to move to him instead. Nah. Okay, so I rolled up to see which one failed. Because I rolled a 10. Well, does a 10 make it? No. Okay, so 10 was the, 10 was the, would have been the last one. And I rolled them all at once, and I didn't really think about it. That's fine. Well, what were the other two rolls? Oh, like uh, uh, 20 and 21. Okay, so you made it two-thirds of the way down. 
Yep. Uh, so in your your first round, you made it down. Yeah, it's the third your round. Your second round, you will make it down. At your third oh. round, you are going to suffer. Uh, wait, 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 wait. That is with two moves around, right? Because yes. I would do both actions and moves. You can't really dash climb. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah you, you're running <laughs> down uh, legitimately. Uh, you're going to take 15 damage oh, in God. the third round. That's not in the third round. So, Manise, what are you going to do? I and will. Then, then it'll be a new round, and you're going to start us off. I will fire my crossbow. Okay. All right. Let's see. I do, do, do I not get to act at all during that round? No. What, sir? You and no. Uh, the other guy landed. So. That, so that was my full full round. You dropped 100 feet. That was your full round. No, I dropped 50 feet. Or you dropped 50. Yeah. You dropped 50 full round. I can't even get a bonus? Okay. Yeah. No. Not, okay. not falling 50 feet. Okay. No, um, no. Just, just checking. What do you want to do? No problem. I fired my crossbow and rolled a 13. Not even close. All right. Uh, top of the order, nat 20, Maniz. Go ahead. I will yeah, fire this, my crossbow. This you're basically taking my action at that at that turn, Manise. So this is an this is you still get another one. Well, this is the new round. So right, we're top right. of the order. That, that attack was for the round that you dropped me. Correct. Yeah. Uh that was an at 20. Roll your damage. Roll yeah. your damage yeah. again that's, and then add your uh, others. Which one of us gets to act, that's fair. Yeah. Which uh which one are you going for? Whichever one's closest to me. Odd even. Okay. That's nine. This will be Thir Dewey's original. Thirteen piercing. Uh, not bad. Uh, Twenty-one. So I got Dewey down. I got Lucas. I have Perpetua. And Taryn won't be here for another round. Assholes and elbows. I will go one on Lucas. One on Blake. So Lucas, uh, 19 plus 7, 26, 14 plus 7, 21, and 6 plus 7, 13. Uh, two of those hit. Okay. And you are in giant elk form, correct? Correct. 8, 2 plus 6, 16 times 2 is 32 hit points of damage. Woo uh, uh, Perpetua. 13 plus 7 is dirty 20, 2 plus 7 is 9, and 5 plus 7 is 12. Uh, all things considered, I'll go ahead and shield and the, 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 the 20 will miss. 19. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, whatever. It'll still miss. Oh, okay. no, no, wait, wait. If it was only 19, then none of them hit. Yeah, it's a 13 plus 7. That's 19. Yeah, 13 plus 7 is 20. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, 20. Okay, so then I do shield. Math is hard, Barbie. Uh, okay, uh, so I do not hit you. Correct. Okay, uh, next up is 16, Lucas. Cool, cool, cool. Um, is that dude still prone? Yes, I'm uh, still on top of him. Uh, are you going to try and grapple him? No, he, he, he got up and attacked you. Oh, he did? Uh, he he, yeah. he back into you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he, he's going to be able to toss you like paper. This guy is fucking huge. Well, he's a huge fucking guy. What's, what's the, what are the consequences of that for me? What are the what? Consequences of that for me. No, and you'll be able to attack normally this round. Okay, he's not actually trying to heave me. He's just, just, just no, you guys me. are on the deck. He's not going to try and drown you or anything. He's yeah, trying I to know. cut you up. He was going to like dwarf toss me. No, no, he's, he wants to cut off your head is what he'll probably want to do. I uh, I missed the dude. I got a 15 to hit. Okay. Hey, did you use the inspiration I gave you? Uh, no, is that a 1d4? No. Six. Me, it's no, now, now, it's, now it should be. It's a, babe, it's a d8. I can look it up. She's still 7th level, though. Yeah, 7th level is a d8. Okay. It's a d8. Uh, I rolled a 1. So 16 to hit. No, you need a 17 to hit. Uh, Taryn, 
<laughs> you're making it down the mountain uh, perpetually. Hey, wait, you're wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. That's two actions. That's a movement. Do I get a bonus? No. No. You're you're going down a straight incline. Uh, you're going to be focusing on getting your ass down there in one piece. Well, it's going to fail, which would make sense if I didn't. If I did this, all he's going to do is healing word Dewey. That's I, was so, say, I would give her a verbal. I would give her a verbal bonus. Yeah, I was just well, going to. Now hang on. So you're you're going down at seventy, right? Yeah. She's Okay, so know, you may get climbing. down on this round, but you're rolling and falling, so that you're, you're not going to get a bonus. 70, then that is your bonus because you're down. Oh, oh, no. so you're then, right. wait, 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 wait. That's only two rounds I've been down. So then, so you get you maybe make three rolls. Right. This is the end. This is the end of the so, second round. Her action is to effectively dash climb. So she would the next have. Next I was taking the damage, not yeah, this round. I would. I would. I would right. give, you verbal, Here, I'll give you a verbal bonus. Oh, here's the thing. Two rounds. It, no, wait, 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 wait. This is the second round, Taryn. I and so, it would have only been two rounds because thirty-five and seventy is over a hundred. Right. right, but, but so. But so, you didn't tell me you were dashing. Well, Climbing is half speed anyway. So even if you took your full round to dash, you would still move 35 feet. That's okay. So that's, you're at 70. No, I really am. And then you will be on the deck next round with your damage. So. Uh, I hate to say it. Frank had it right at the beginning. No, no, no. I, I, no. I thought he did. And then it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> so do we make your death save or do you want to do what you said in the chat? Uh, chat sounds good. Okay. But I Perpetua, feel. you're up. What okay. are you uh, let's see here. I'm going to. So who's standing? There's there's two. There's the one that there's the one that just one on you, one on Lucas. The one that, the one that just dis that disturbed me. Because uh, I was okay. Uh... Oh shit. Um. Oh, come on. I got to have something in here. Come on. Come on, Blake. You're the best. I, I, I know. You're like, pulling I'm, shit out I'm of your... I'm almost out of, uh, I'm out of sorcery points. I can convert more. But yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck it. I'll burn all of my... I'll burn all of my second level spells and I will convert more sorcery points. Uh, give me a con 16. <coughs> Fail. Fail. Six. I'm pretty sure I don't get plus ten. We. Uh, that blight is going to do forty-three necrotic. Nice. Very good. This will, be, this will be the one that just discarded me. Right. And that was my bonus to convert and my action, so I'm done. Maniz, top of the order. I will. Where? Where's? Oh, Dewey's gone. Okay. Um, I will <laughs> fire. <laughs> I'll fire my crossbow again. Uh, that'll be a twelve. So that completely misses. That misses. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Uh, Taryn, you will come rumbling down this round. Lucas. Uh, Sixteen plus seven is twenty-three. Ten plus seven, seventeen, and eighteen plus seven, twenty-five. All three hit. Okay. So take six plus six, twelve times three is thirty-six damage. Oh shit! All right. Perpetua. Now what else for me? Uh, twelve plus seven is nineteen. Nineteen plus seven is twenty-six, and eight plus seven is fifteen. Uh, so only one of those would hit normally, and shield wouldn't help. So do it. Four, eight, twelve plus six is uh, eighteen damage. Okay. Uh, that brings us to sixteen. Lucas, are you still a giant elk, or are you done? No, no, I reverted the, okay. with that last attack. I'm actually still thinking of the math. Gotcha. Um, Doesn't matter. Uh, there's still the one on me, one on Perpetua. Perpetua. One oh. is dead. 
And then what on me? Is he is he hurt? Oh, they're both hurt. Like pretty badly hurt. Is he like uh, you can probably see a lot of blood gushing. You can see a lot of blood gushing on both. Interesting. They're in pretty bad shape. Um. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna use my action to heat metal on the dude on me. Okay. Uh, so let's see. What do I have to do? choose a manufactured metal object such as metal weapons? Get a heavier medium metal armor. You cause the object to grow red. So I don't think there's an attack roll. It, there's there's not a, there's not a save or anything for this. The save is to see if he winces in pain and loses his action. Is yeah. is how we home is how we homebrewed this when we were doing it, Frank. Yeah, it's, it's weird. He's going to be in pain. Okay, so yeah. There's, there's a con save to see if he drops his armor, which means... He's trying he's to take his armor off. Ri riding in agony. Yeah. So that, that was eight fire damage that he takes? Oh, well, he ain't got to writhe at all. Well, no, he still has to make the con save. He's dead. Oh. Well, that was it? Just. That was enough to kill him. Uh, Dewey is already accounted for perpetual. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Taryn, you have arrived and take damage. Um, FYI, I, I do use my bonus action to turn back into a uh, giant elf. Okay. Perpetual, you're up. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. wait Taryn, Taryn, the landslide will bring you down. You came crashing down. You've got 42 teeth. Some of them are stone. Uh, perpetual, you're up on yours. Is that not her out? No. I doubt it. She doesn't look good, but no. Okay, okay. just making sure you're not down. Is Dewey up yet? No. no. That was going to be my freaking bonus action, because all I ever do is two boots. All right, Dr. Maybe, may, maybe if you would have spit out the pebbles sooner, you'd be okay. How many death saves are you on, Dewey? It is round three. How, how many have you made? How many how have I made what? Death saves. He's got something else going on because he said it was in chat. Hmm? No. You, you have he does not appear to look good. You, well, no, you, you're down. You're not rolling death saves. I've failed my death saves. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've made zero of that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh I thought you said, never mind. <laughs> Hold on. Go ahead, Perpetual. What are you going to do? <laughs> There's something weird going on. I'm a... I'm a shoot poison out of my pussy. Okay. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, I've already pushed the boat out to see if we so have a boat for Dewey. Or no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, a con save. Uh, 18 plus 3, 21. Okay, well, we'll, we'll twin that. Since I had first three point left over. 15 plus 318. Okay, those will both miss, and that'll be my turn. No half damage? It's poison squirt. Okay. Uh, Manise, kill this guy. Uh, let's see if I can hit something, finally. Uh, will a 22 hit? It will indeed. All right, finally. We're getting somewhere. Uh, where the F is my D8. That'll be nine piercing damage. Uh, I got Lucas. I got Perpetua. I'm going to ignore Taryn. I'm going to ignore Dewey. So, odd Lucas, even Perpetua. First attack will go one odd. Three odd. Two. So two attacks on Lucas, one attack on Perpetua. Lucas. Can I try and insult 11 his mother? 11 and 12 plus 6, 18. Uh, 18 hits. Uh, what did you say, Perpetua? Can I try and insult his mother to get him to give me all of them? No. Uh, 12 plus 6 is only 18. 18 damage? <laughs> No, 18 to hit Perpetua. You take 6 plus 6. You take 12, Lucas. Got it. Uh, give me the 16. Lucas, you're up. There's only one left. Uh, well, I'm going to hit it with my antlers. 
And that is a 25 to hit. Woo! That hits. Um, that is 17 magic bludgeoning. Very good. That it? That's it. Uh, Taryn, spit the rocks out of your mouth and do something with a 15. All right. So how far away am I from Dewey? And they're leaving uh, it alone, right? So courtesy of your rolling and tackling maneuver, you're well within distance to move up and assist Dewey if you'd like. All right. I'm going to go up and I'm going to cast a second level Cure Wounds. Because um, I'm the backup healer. I hope, well, is it too late? I hope it's Dewey, not. tell her. I failed three death saving throws. Well, I guess it's not going to work. So well, you then, can try. No, I don't want to, like, I'm going to blow a tickle. I freaking wanted to do it when I was coming down the mountain. Um, let's see. Nope. Nope, then I'm going to do the other plan I was going to do. So I realized that I'm going to actually, I have my friggin', oh no, I would have had to pick it up. Um, no, actually, that would work. That should, I should have enough actions to do that. I'm going to use my crossbow and shoot the remaining one, or try to. Okay. Now, question. Now, I've never, I haven't had a weapon like this in, in, uh, it's, 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 it's shoot, reload, bonus, shoot. No, that's not what I was going to ask. But I've got both. Uh, the bolts were plus one, correct? Correct. Okay, does that stack with the plus one of the weapon? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then didn't figure it in in the uh, D and D Beyond, but so that's plus eight to hit. Uh, sixteen. Swing and a miss. Uh... <laughs> A uh, bonus action, I'm going to inspire, yeah, I'll inspire Lucas again, because he's been freaking, uh, he's been freaking taking him out pretty good. Perpetually, so, you're up. Okay, I'm going to. I don't think Lucas is going to get a chance. Double, I'm just going to double dagger this thing. I said to my, to my uh, caustic vagina. Okay. Uh, <coughs> that's going to be. A first one is an 18. How much damage are you going to do? Uh, that's seven. Dead. Okay, good. My second one missed. <laughs> yeah, dead. Uh, that's 25. Uh, and he only had 20. A uh, lot of dead here. Uh, as you guys mourn the loss. We also of don't want to stick around here because the ships are still coming, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is that is a secondary problem, <laughs> which I okay. Uh, you know what? This is a perfect spot to end. <laughs> I think we should rest here, guys. I yeah. know well, that. I think that's a great idea. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ! Um, a lot of unexpectedness here, um, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and do final thoughts, uh, Blake. Fuck. Uh, I still have two third level spell slots, which means I basically have a dimension door, so I'm peacing out, guys. <laughs> Fuck you guys! Take me with you! Kyle! Take one of you with me. Send me favors. Uh, the dice giveth and the dice taketh away, and that one and a nine really oh, sucks. Uh, one. Okay, that's it, why I wasn't... Okay. Bro, it was in the enough rounds. But I thought you said you had you no, he had a net one, which is two fails. Yeah, no, no. I thought you said you were you wrote something in chat or something to him, and there was something. Weird I pre-roll my uh, death rolls, and then I, I just send it off to Frank. Oh, okay, that okay. Yeah. Uh, Thirty. Uh, that was lots of fun, though. The avatars. I wish it was clear when they first appeared what they were after, because I was a little confused. But <laughs> once we figured out, I design. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, no, I thought I it was like pretty that. pretty fun. Now we need to find uh, this jazz musician. I mean, Duke Ellington. Well, now we have to read. So now, awesome. now we have to bolster our numbers. We're down a member, unless. I thought Manise could uh, revive, like bring him back within a minute. Or something. Yeah. yeah, 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 I can. Uh Carol. Yeah, that was. Oh my God, that what? Now see, that was an amazing fight. Uh, fortunately, with the freaking bad dice rolls on. 
Dewey's part and even a bit on mine. And yes, for the record, bards are not frontline fighters. So, you know, I really, that's, you know, I tried. I tried to not be in the part, but three guys and three of us. That was Speaking a crazy which, fight. And honestly, which, this is not hey, no ring of protection. <laughs> Last but not least, my knees. Hey, you got a ring of regeneration. And and I think it's like the third session where I don't take damage. So, you know, you went from before. went from dying every session Woo! to not taking damage. Nice we're, do, we're going in the right direction. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, so I'll bring Dewey back so he don't die, but yeah. Can we at least... Well, thanks for the cliffhanger, Manise. <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't you fall off? It's not a hanger. You fell. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the campaign edition. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look for us on Tuesday when we do the talk show. Uh, I think we're talking about Paladins. Is that what we're talking about it's, next? It depended, depended on who, what, what, what the cast lineup was. But yeah. Gotcha. Uh, folks, uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, go ahead. Uh, for all you protesters out there, stay safe and keep the faith. It's going to get rough, but that's why you do it. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Obo Inc., uh, thanks for watching, and let's wave and get the hell out of here and laugh at Dewey. Bye! Hey.